Hi Vibes everybody. I just wanted to get on here today and make a video about the relationship between fear and failure. So uh, a lot of people, you know, they combine the both things, you know, say that like they have a fear of failure and they have um, they have a whole lot of fears that cause them to fail. But if you start getting down into the situation and actually looking at the root of it, is it all is based off of fear. So when you're in that fearful mindset, that starts to limit your options and limit your, your capabilities of being able to see what you can and what you cannot do out here in this system. So the more you're afraid, the less options you actually have, you know, and then once you start having less options, then it's like a domino effect. So now, so now you're afraid because you don't have as much options as to do whatever you wanted to do. And then on top of it, now you're not able to do it because those options have been closed off to you. But once you start to transform that mindset a little bit, transform your mind just uh, just a little bit, then you'll start to see exactly how all this can affect your life into a, into a positive. Because you can't be afraid to fail. Because you are going to fail from time to time. There's always going to be failure in your life. But the more that you come into balance of saying that, you know, just because you fail, not necessarily being that that's what's going to cause you to to not be able to do what you need to do, because that failure actually has taught you something. You know, when you look at any time you failed in your life, any time you failed doing anything, you learn something from it. You learn how to get better at it. You learn how to to make it more efficient. You learn how to make it stronger, better, faster, however you're trying to do. But when you're sitting there and you're starting to think about it as, oh, I'm failing at this or I'm failing at that. Then you, that's when you start to get into a mindset of where the failure and the fear starts to hinder you from actually going on and doing what you need to do. So what you have to do actually is once you once you fail is to look at those options and look at those options of when you fail of how you can make it better because a failure is only one step towards your success. <clears throat> Don't ever feel like once you're starting to fail that you're, you're not going to be able to succeed because most of the most successful people in this world have actually failed at a majority of, of the tasks that they try to complete. So don't be afraid to fail because that failure can teach you a lot. And then the, with the fear, you can't be afraid to even go out there and do it because you might fail. Because again, even if you do fail, it's something to help you along your path. You don't want to be in the spot to where you're afraid to do things, you're afraid to get things going, because that fear will actually hinder you from being able to go out there and make those proper successes and make those changes in your life that you know you need and make those changes that you want to have happen for you and around you. So you have to learn to embrace that fear to the point to where it's not really fear. It's, it's, to, it's a way to actually drive you towards your successes. It's a way to, to fuel you. Like you can use that fear for fuel because, you know, when they say you have that fight, flight or fight um, um, survival t um, tactic there, then you, you'll see like when some animals get afraid, it's actually when they fight the best. It's actually when they are able to do things higher than the capabilities that they normally do. So just with you, with that basic example right there, you'll see that fear can actually drive you to do a lot more, can actually drive you to be a lot more successful. So no, don't be afraid to be afraid. You know, so you no, know, take that fear and use that fear to be able to, to to produce whatever you're trying to produce. Use that fear to make you, you know go faster, go stronger, go harder. Think of more ideas, think of more options. Because the more options that you have, the more likely it is that you're going to succeed. Now you might fail, but as long as you're not afraid of that failure, you'll be able to see what you have learned from failing. So make sure you take that um, to heart. Take that to on your inner search and your outer search, and actually really and truly eternal internalize that fear and that failure so that you can know how you're going to be able to succeed, how you're going to get over that failure, how things are going to be able to get better in your life. You don't want to be afraid of things all the time. You don't want this fear to actually consume you and consume you on the inside. You want that fear to make you be better, be stronger, be faster, be whatever you need it to be. I say it in those terms because that's probably the easiest terms for you to understand. It's like a lot of athletes are afraid to do certain things, but then you realize that that you know, with athletes, that fear actually can get you that adrenaline rush. And what does that adrenaline rush do? It allows you to perform to a higher capability, to higher standards than you were able to before. So they, the, you were able, the, a lot of athletes are able to use that in order to you know get better, get stronger, get faster. So. When you want to apply it, let's say you want to apply that to a business 
you know, that fear, you'd be like, oh man, I'm afraid to do this. You know, a lot of people say, you know, risk, no reward. Sometimes you have to be able to take a little bit of risk in order to see the higher reward that you're going to be able to get. You, once you take that little bit of risk, you'll be able to see the more options because some of the riskier options have some of the highest levels of success. So you can't be afraid to take that risk or to use that fear to, to drive you to a higher success. But basically, I'm really just trying to get at, not, don't be afraid to, to achieve your goals. Don't be afraid to fail because the more that you do fail, the more things that you learn. Like I learned a lot of different things by actually failing. I learned how to do uh, quite a few different things you know, from actually failing at doing what I was trying to do. So you never know what type of information, what type of knowledge, what type of skill sets that you would get from actually failing. So don't be afraid to, to use that failure, to use that fear to actually work for you. you no, know, don't let these, these, these fears and failures actually hinder your progress. Let them build your progress. Let them build on that momentum. Let them build on your spirit, mind, and body. Your, all three points of the Trinity because um, you know, fear can um, have your ego start to lash out. <clears throat> and your ego is a really fear-based. So once you realize that, hey, you don't need to be afraid of everything, you don't have to let that fear control you, then you will also be able to see, hey, you don't need to have your ego control you. You don't have to have your ego lash out. You don't have to have your ego stop you and hinder you from what you were trying to do. You were able to achieve all the different things, all the different success that you're actually able to achieve because now you don't, your ego is not controlling you. You're able to control your ego. You're able to have your ego work with you in every manner of your life. So... Don't be afraid. You no, know, get that fear out of your mind. Now I know it's going to be hard for you. you no, know, so that's why you have to you know stick to your different practices. You no, know, with your meditation and you no know, and, and your mindfulness and everything that you're doing. You have to stick with it. You know, consistency is the key. It's chi. You know, it's that key for life. You have to be able to keep doing it in order to see the results. And then once you start seeing the results of you know, you start off small, you know, because you don't have to start off big and tackling your biggest fears. Tackle little fears. And then once you start seeing how you, how once you get rid of those little fears, how you start to succeed more, then you'll be able to actually see that, hey, maybe I can get rid of a bigger fear and it'll have even more effect. But that's for you to go ahead and do your own inner search and outer search and research on and then to actually internalize and learn more from. But that's pretty much all I wanted to get on here and talk to you guys about today. So just make sure that you're going within and learning to actually conquer your fear and to learn from all the failures that you've had in order to achieve everything that you want to achieve. But, you know, peace in and out, my full love, my gratitude and highest of vibrations.